and welcome back to Affordable Optics and Rifle Reviews. Today we're going to be taking a look at the fully Canadian, fully custom rifle, the Canadian Dream Rifle. So this is what you get when you take some of the best Canadian components and put them together for a fully Canadian, fully custom rifle. What we have here is based off of the Pristine Action, a JC custom barrel. We have an Apex Optic, an MDT ACC chassis. We have Kdex Optics mounts, Kdex Trigger, Kdex DX2 uh, Trigger. We have an EMP4 muzzle brake, and all the gunsmithing was completed by EM Precision. So let's start with the action. So Pristine Actions is a company based in Chilliwack that I believe they started in January of 2022. Retailing at $1,300 for a custom action is actually respectively quite affordable. So this entire build in terms of raw materials, in terms of parts, will cost you over $6,500. So, but if you think that price is steep, the results that it'll deliver are also equally amazing. Now, before we get started with the action, I'm going to show you just how accurate this rifle is. What are you getting for the price? So this is a group at 100 meters. Now, that is a staple for reference. That's three rounds. And this is, was an eight shot group until I turned it into a nine shot group, which made it a little bit worse. But even with that nine shot group, this is well below a half MOA and extremely consistent. All right, we got the six Creedmoor. We are at 720 meters. We're using the ammunition that you guys just saw, that ridiculously good group at, at 100. And I kind of want to see, what does that translate to at 720? Just curious. And it's starting to rain a little bit, so I kind of want to get, I don't know how I managed to load an empty round in there, but. <laughs> this gun has, I think, ruined me for factory rifles. <laughs> Gotta get the ears completely on. So, is that good enough for you? <laughs> that is a wicked tight group at 720 meters, which is like uh, probably a little less than 800 yards. That's freaking sick. Nice. So if you're not sure what the difference is between, let's say, a high-end factory rifle and a high-end custom rifle, the difference is actually astounding. A factory rifle on its best day will be outperformed by a custom rifle on its worst day. And I've reviewed, oh, I don't even know how many factory rifles that I've reviewed, but I've reviewed dozens and dozens of factory rifles. And yes, some of them were high end. And I've never seen anything quite this accurate. In fact, I have another custom rifle here and it is nowhere near this accurate. But let's get started with the pristine action. So based in Chilliwack, they retail for $1,300. They have a Remington 700 footprint, so they'll fit in any chassis that, that'll take a Remington 700 action. They take Remington 700 triggers or Remington 700 style triggers. They'll take Savage pre-fit barrels, so it makes it very versatile and it, it, it makes it so it can accommodate as many options as possible. Additionally, I mean, what makes it desirable though? So what sets pristine apart from every other custom action company out there? Well, they have one of the smoothest operating bolts in the industry. Now, they accomplish this by having their 
lugs the same diameter as the bolt itself. So it's not protruding, it's not running in any raceways in the action. So there's nothing to kind of grind until it's in its seated position. So that's what makes it super smooth. Additionally, upon opening, you're going to realize this is one of the smoothest bolt lifts you'll ever see. They also accomplish this by putting some kind of little roller bearing into the caulking mechanism so it just rolls super nice and smoothly. Additionally, it does have a floating bolt face, so if you did want to change the caliber once you cook this barrel and you want, you know, I want to go with maybe a 223. Well, they have a three weight bolt face and they have a 223 bolt face. And rumor on the street, uh, I haven't heard this from them actually, but I've heard this on the street is there's plans for a Magnum action too. So that's that's going to be pretty exciting. So we have dual, extra dual ejectors and a Seiko style extractor. Additionally, you probably noticed it has six lugs. In theory, that should make it so it has more contact surface between the bolt face and the action itself. Additionally, it has a 90 degree bolt throw and it comes with a Picatinny rail on it. Now, the recoil lug is not actually, um, is not actually integrated into the action. It's actually sandwiched between the barrel and the action. The job of a custom action is to ensure that basically proper feeding, proper extraction, proper ejection. And so far, that's what we've observed with this action. And you're, you're probably looking at this one saying, this doesn't look like the pictures. Well, no, this actually, this one actually doesn't. We've had this entire rifle Cerakoted by EM Precision. So if you're looking for a custom paint work, if you're looking for a custom Cerakot job, definitely check out EM Precision for that. Uh, typically, this one is a stainless kind of uh, polished steel, stainless steel finish on it. I mean, obviously, you can paint it as you see fit, uh, but that's typically what it comes like. Next, let's talk about the barrel. So this barrel is a JC Custom barrel. They're based in New Brunswick. This one retails for $625 if you go for the pre-fit, although the one we went with was actually slightly different. So this is a 26-inch MTU profile. This is chambered for 6mm Creedmoor and it's a single point cut barrel. That's something in the industry that's considered to be more accurate than the alternative, which is button rifling, which uh, single point cut takes more time, it's more painstaking, but it typically provides better accuracy. And also it doesn't add more stress to the barrel, which uh, these barrels are also double stress relieved. For those of you who have no clue what that meant, um, stress relieving is actually a very important process that uh, barrels need to go through in order for it to group properly or to at least assist in it grouping properly. And those that are not very well stress relieved, you will observe your first shot or your cold bore shot to be not in the same place as the rest of your group. That is a typical symptom of a rifle that doesn't have very good heat treatment. So if your rifle does that, I mean, it's not the end of the world, but it tells you that the heat treatment could have been better. So yeah. These ones are also made of 416 R steel with a 27 to 28 Rockwell in terms of hardness. They're also hand lapped to 20 microns, so not every custom barrel company is going to be hand lapping their barrels. And you can get them chambered, so chambered for 6mm Creedmoor or whatever, uh, and threaded for around 625 Now this one I actually did not get it chambered by JC Custom, just because I was going to have our gunsmith do it, so EM Precision. I'll actually touch on that later. Next, let's talk about the chassis. So this is the MDT ACC chassis. This is the golden standard in terms of chassis that you're gonna see out there in the PRS competitions because it checks every possible box you can want. So we have a arc rail the entire length of the base. We have a barricade stop right here integrated right up to the magazine well. We have M locks at the three, six, and nine position. Also the barrel channel can accommodate up to 1.35 inches. That's not something you're gonna see in a PRS competition, but for the F glass shooters, you might see that a lot more often. <laughs> but yeah, you can fit a beefy, beefy barrel. And I mean, our MTU profile barrel still has room. So I mean, if ever I cook out this barrel, I might wanna put something massive in it. But uh, yeah, additionally, it does take AICS magazines, which, which is a standard in terms of uh, chassis out there. It does have an ambidextrous magazine release, which is easily accessible from your index. And the magazines drop freely, which is quite nice. On more budget chassis, you might not see them drop quite as freely or insert quite as nicely. Additionally, on the rear of the chassis, on the buttstock portion, which is removable for, let's say, storage or transportation, it's not like 
easily removable, you need your Allen key to remove it. But our adjustments for our uh, cheek piece and our length of pull and our comb height uh, are very easily accessible. You simply loosen these screws here and you can bring it down or up as you see fit. So it's easily adjustable. The same goes for the length of pull and you can bring up the butt pad up or down. And going up and down, that's typically something you see on high-end chassis, which, I mean, the MBT ACC is like the golden standard. That's what you're gonna, that's what you should expect on this. Not only that, the ACC chassis can accommodate multiple weights. So you can actually fill this void here with weights if you wanted to bog down your rifle even more. For PRS people, this weight is probably gonna be more than enough. This one right here in its current configuration weighs 20 pounds. Uh, that's unloaded, obviously. So with the optic and with everything, this beast weighs 20 pounds. And uh, I mean, I wouldn't want to trek around the woods with it, but I wouldn't mind going barricade to barricade. And it does come with a vertical elite grip, which actually I prefer it over their old version. So I, I actually have both. And I also have their, uh, their more pistol style grip, the ones you'll see more on AR-15s. This one is by far the most comfortable for this purpose. And next, let's talk about the optic. So this is the Apex Rival, the 4 to 32 by 56. Now, the owner came out with this company, I believe in 2021 or 2020. Now, this one's actually made in Japan by some of the best optics manufacturers in the industry. So you won't be disappointed whatsoever with the optical clarity. The glass quality in this optic is amazing. It's really, really amazing. Um, you're gonna notice it has 32 mils of internal adjustment, a revolution indicator. Uh, the fit and finish on the Apex Rivals are really, really nice. They're, they're amazing. And these ones retail for $2,300 Canadian currently. Additionally, it has a wide field of view at 29 feet at the lowest magnification of four, which is not typical for uh, that magnification, and 3.7 at the highest of 32. So it has a extremely wide field of view for its magnification. So this is a top tier optic. And, and for those of you who don't know optics, I've reviewed uh, many, 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 many optics in the past and many high-end optics, many mid-tier optics, and there, there is a sweet spot in terms of price point for when you start spending money and you start getting less and less in return. The sweet spot is right around this price. So 2,000, 2,300 is where you're gonna see the most value for what you're getting. So you have amazing glass, tons of internal adjustment, the fit and finish is amazing, the turrets are made of quality material, um, and, and overall, everything is going to absolutely impress you. And I have many optics at this price range. And if you're looking for an excellent quality hunting or shooting tripod, take a look at Sunwave Photo. So that's what we've been using in a lot of our videos lately is the Sunwave Photo carbon fiber shooting tripod. So this will fit an arc rail, this will fit even a Picatinny rail if you buy the adapter. So I definitely recommend taking a look at the Sunwave Photo carbon fiber shooting tripods. Next, we have the trigger. So this is the Kdex DX2 Evo. Uh, what makes this trigger very different, very special over many of the other uh, triggers out there is it is a dual stage and a single stage. So by simply removing one of the pins in the trigger, you can turn your trigger from a single stage to a dual stage trigger. Personally, I love dual stage triggers, so I really like the fact that, you know, there's a little bit of take up and then it breaks. And I really like the fact that this one has that option. So if you are you know, you have money to start your first PRS build and you've never had a single, a dual stage trigger. Well, you can buy this one and you can give it a try. And then if you don't like it, you go back to single stage, which you just put the pin back in the same place. It's adjustable between one and a half pounds to five pounds as well. So for a PRS rifle, um, I, I personally would never go below one and a half pounds. Uh, you might see maybe F-class shooters going much lower than that and down to the ounces, but when you're moving, you want a little bit more weight behind that trigger. And this one obviously can accommodate that. And this one has no creep. There's no take up. It literally, upon the stopping point, it breaks. And they retail for about $290. And Kdex is a company based in Quebec. Next, we have the scope rings or the one-piece mount. So there is a distinct advantage of going with a one-piece mount over a two-piece mount. Uh, for one is you're kind of limiting the variables. When you're going with a one piece, um, the, the, like the levelness or the straightness of the rail is no longer even a concern because it's all based off of the one piece. And yes, these are made off of 
one solid piece of aluminum. You can get them in a very a variety of configurations. For example, on the, our top cap here, we went with one with a bubble level. You can get it plain like the front, or you can even get it with a cosine indicator, so to tell you the degree of the angle that you're shooting at. And additionally, you can get it with a quick detach on the mounts. Next, we have the EMP4 muzzle brake. So this is EM Precision's very own uh, muzzle brake that they have. It's a self-timing muzzle brake, and I mean, this rifle delivers zero recoil, and that's the job of the muzzle brake, to ensure that, first of all, there's as little recoil delivered as possible, but additionally, with the entire rifle weighing 20 pounds, and the fact that it's a six millimeter Creedmoor, I'm not gonna feel much recoil to begin with. <laughs> Next, let's talk about the gunsmithing services. So, EM Precision is the company that did the chambering of this rifle. JC Custom Barrels is the company that cut the contour. They're the ones who cut the six millimeter rifling into the barrel, but they did not cut the chambering. There's actually a reason behind getting a gunsmith to finalize the entire uh, procedure. Because typically, um, you might you can order a prefit, and yes, it can absolutely be extremely accurate. It could, be, could even be just as accurate as this rifle. Although a lot of the time they're stacking tolerances. So everyone's basically going off a blueprint with a plus and a minus. While when you bring your action, you deliver your, your, your barrel blank to your gunsmith, they're making sure those tolerances are as close to zero as possible. So making sure there is zero wiggle room for anything. So there's zero plus and minus. This is going to fit extremely tight and very, very well. So that's part of the benefits of going with a gunsmith. And if you guys are interested in similar results, I definitely encourage you to reach out to EM Precision for all your gunsmithing services. Uh, also, the Cerakote job. If you notice, this is not an option offered by MDT. MDT offers this chassis in a variety of awesome colors, but none quite as custom as this. This was actually done by EM Precision, by their in-house Cerakoter. And uh, this was, uh, I gave them basically the liberty of creativity. I told them, you know what? I want it to scream, I am Canadian. I want it to scream Canadian pride. And I said, you know what? Do whatever you want. Just that's the theme I want to go with. And I think giving them the liberty of creative freedom really delivered us this beautiful rifle. And I mean, it's something that you can really feel proud of. It's going to look nothing like any of the others in the industry. This is a one of a kind rifle. And this is what you get when you go fully Canadian and fully custom. Lastly, for those of you who are wondering, why a fully custom rifle? Yes, they are expensive. They are not cheap. For those of you who are on a budget, custom rifle really is maybe not the way to go. There are good options out there in the factory configurations, and you can always get them rebarreled, and they will perform even better. But a custom rifle offers you a variety of different options that the factory industry just really can't accommodate. For example, this is probably the beefiest barrel I've ever seen. And you're not going to see, I, I, at least I haven't seen any MTU profile barrels on factory PRS rifles out there. You won't see that. You won't see uh, this action. You won't see this smoothness of action. It's something not really afforded to most companies in the factory kind of category. You have to spend a lot more money to get this level of quality and this fit and finish all these parts together. Well, yes, you could buy a factory rifle and end up turning it into a custom rifle, but it's a lot easier to start with a custom rifle and just build it correctly the first time. So yeah, if you guys enjoyed this video, consider hitting like, consider hitting subscribe. And if you're looking forward to build a build similar to this one, definitely reach out to any of the companies that we have referred to. They make excellent quality products because the deliverables that we have shown you guys today, this is not something that I've seen I can't compare this to any factory rifle that I've owned. This is above and beyond any of the capabilities that I can typically do in those ones. Yeah. So thanks for watching Affordable Optics and Rifle Reviews. I'll see you next time.